hello viewers what's up in the last lecture i have shown you how to download and configure sqled jdbc connector today i'll show you how to create a class that will contain the code for connection so let's open netbeans and go to source package go to new create a java class i'm giving my class name java database connect and hit enter we do not need this and now I am creating a variable that will contain the connection private static connection connection initially it will be null now I am creating a method whenever we will try to establish a connection we will call this method so let's create the method public static return type connection method name database connect by declaring a method static or a variable static we need not create to any object of this class so whenever we will try to access this method or this variable we can directly access this by the class we will see it in the next video so don't worry about this static keyword i will discuss this it later so to establish a connection we at first needed try cache block and write class dot for name org dot sqlite dot jdbc actually this line of code will show you on which database we are trying to access for this time i am trying to access uh, sqlite database before that we need to fix uh, import now we will establish our connection and the connection variable will contain the connection connection equal driver manager dot get connection jdbc clone sqlite clone now we need to specify the path of our database so i am going documents netbeans project youtube channel project youtube register and you see this is my database so i am copying this path and test it and then my database name my database name is easy start easy start dot sqlite i'm adding a semicolon actually i have set my database into the project folder so i need not specify this whole path i just need to declare my database name and that will be enough so i am deleting it and that's it we have established our connection and we need to return it return connection and which type of exception can be occurred an uh, exception of class not found can be occurred for this statement and another exception can be occurred name sql exception so if any exception occur then what will we do we'll 
the message could be the option pen dot show message dialog and we will return this time null because our method has a return type so whenever the try block will be executed we will return the connection and if the try block do not execute then we will return null so that's our code for the connection and in the next video i will show you how to establish a connection so that's it thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe